What's up, YouTube? Team Scrubs for the win here. We got <laughs> Kevin Silva and his crazy deck profile. I really like that name, Team Scrubs for the win. I know. <laughs> I should be on that team. I have three gear frames. I have three peacekeepers. I have three fortress. Just please explain. Well, not not these, but uh, oh these. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, this is like part of the. Deck. Yeah, that's if the strategy. If you don't this, you're in a bad you're in a bad situation. If you bailer this, you're at a negative one. And this card is so good because this is like e-call for uh for this card. Like you know how you know how like. Uh, What's that deck called? Heroes. Heroes. Like, Heroes, like, they have three E-calls for their Stratos, but they only have one Stratos. Those are your E-calls. This guy, this guy can get me itself, or this. And if it's really bad, then I can just discard it for Fortress, and yeah. special summon Fortress for pretty much free. So that, that's what's good about Peacekeeper. Oh, and then I can also equip it to uh, one of my two Gajillatrons. What does it, it even, do when it's equipped? Oh, it can't be destroyed one time, and then it searches. So like on top of that, you weren't able to kill it, and oh, then you I get can't to search kill that. Gear so even if you torrential, you can destroy their monsters, but yours well, stays no, alive. No, not torrential. Like, it, like if I summon this, they're obviously gonna torrential first. But let's say they they uh, they set torrential after I summon Peacekeeper, then yeah, it's better. But okay. this is for cards like Dark Hole, Smashing Ground. Okay. Pretty much shuts them down. So I also run three Valor. Have to run three Valor. Priority's gone. Yeah. You have to run three Breaker. Breaker, break your own Gear Town. Breaker, break your Bottomless Deep Prison. That's what these cards die to. <laughs> And bottomless kills this card too, so you know you have to kill back rows. Yeah. And let's see, you got the two Tragodias, really broken. You know, you produce hand advantage with this and this. And you can just it's sit versatile. on these cards. You just sit on these cards. And then drop Tragodia, it's like what, three thousand? Beater, beat me. Gores. Nobody really expects gores because I run field spells and they think I'm running like some type of gadget trap deck. That's what everyone thinks. Uh, I don't know why. And then I have Machina Cannon. It's really inconsistent to me. But uh, when you got three of these, searching three of these, searching three of these, this card works really well with this. If you if you have this engraved ever, right, and you have no cards in it, and you draw a gear frame, you can summon we'll gear frame, search uh, cannon into eight star, discard judge it, Nathan summon Lauer, fortress back. Now you have a broken field of one top deck. Or another reason why this is good is against heroes. I I like talking about the hero match because I faced a lot of heroes today uh, and yesterday. Oh no, I didn't face any heroes today, but yesterday in day one. Trigodium, I discard the cannon, and I take their shining. So they wasted all their time bringing up shining, and then I have the shining along with Trigodia. So oh, it's like, wow. they got really destroyed by it like yeah. that. So that's uh, 22 monsters. The last monster is Card Cray Ninja Sazay. Why? This card takes out Zen Mains. This card is a discard for this if they have Sangin out. If they have Sangin out, I take it, and then I contact. Yeah, you did stars. that in one of your matches. Yeah, yeah, I did that in one of my matches. Another thing this is good against is Zen Mains. Zen Mains is amazing, just, just send it away, I can attack directly for game with this card. It actually has attack unlike so many, and this guy is ruining my, ruining my time with you. See, he, he makes useless announcements, freaking Konami, you know? Alright, well anyway, I hope Konami doesn't get me for that, but I draw this, right, and I have a Fortress dead in hand, I go draw this as a machine so I can discard, discard, special summon it back. Yeah. And the good thing, like, good thing about having all these machines is... This is like three reborns. If I draw these cards, three reborns. That's true. Just one discard reborn to bring this back. You and right back. not even mentioning my fourth reborn that's right here is a spell card. So it's like essentially I have four reborns. Yeah. Uh, so that's 22 monsters. Way too much to learn in that game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a police man. It's I thought he played. Right. I thought he played. I have three gate towns. That'd be weird. We now three need players, three terraformings, three MSCs, one Necro Valley, because you need an actual field spot. These are not real field spots. This is the actual one. This, it stops Miracle Fusion, it stops Avarice out of Dino Rabbit, it stops, you know, the Insector Hornet that's in the graveyard when they target, it stops Dragon Chaos when they target with their Light Pulse Star, yeah. they back. Uh -huh. They can't banish for Light and Darts, they can't Reborn, you know, they can't do much. And pretty much they start focusing all their focus on Necro Valley, but if they kill Necro Valley, then they're potentially risking gores coming down. So you don't really want to kill that. And then you're screwed if it leaves on the field. So like either way, you're yeah. going to lose. Heavy, Dark Hole, Book of Moon, Reborn, Fourth Reborn. And this is Forbidden Chalice. It's not Pot of Avarice. If you know Forbidden Chalice, it increases the monster attack yeah. by 400 and negates the effect for the turn. It's really good in response to uh, like Rabbit because there's no priority anymore. I just respond to Rabbit. I respond to Dragonfly. You know, respond to any effect monster. Why it's not awesome. Phoenix Chain? Uh, Phoenix Chain has to stay on the field one turn, and then like I, I don't really like Phoenix Chain as much. 
it lost, it lost its good it lost its good points. But it's still good against Dynamite, so don't get me wrong. Uh, this is good. Forbidden Chalice is really good because I can, like, let's say I attack Zen mains, and then they're like, oh, okay, sure. Like, they're just gonna yeah, detach the counter and then kill it. Chain. I just damage step kill it. So this effects yeah. negated. He can detach, but it still dies. Yeah, damage step. So that's really good on uh, that part. And so that's 37 with 15 spells. And what and was your record? To, uh, what was your record at the uh, day one? Day one, I lost to uh, round two. I lost to Lightsmore, and he just OTK me turn three both games. This is really disappointing. Round four, I lost to Chainburn, Paul Cooper. I should have won because uh, he he was like running. He ran out of cards. I wasn't gonna attack for game next turn. He draws one day of peace. So he one day of peace draws. Oh he sets God. Jar Greed. Okay, whatever. Jar Greed, and he now draws. He draws first turn. His last card he drew is just dessert, so he won like that. I oh should have won that God, game. So I went undefeated the whole rest, Brian and then I go to day two, Paul. and I lose to two Insectors because this deck isn't as good against Insectors. Oh, that's bad. just a bad matchup. No, it's not a bad matchup. I could have geared my deck. Like, my, de my deck was ready to base Insectors, but I took out the warnings, and that really hurt me. And I knew like 20, over 20 people were ready Insectors, like ARG Riders. Everyone except me, Frazier, and Joe were ready Insectors. Everyone on ARG except me, Joe, and Frazier. Everyone, yeah. That's crazy. Everyone was ready Insectors. So there's two Torrents. One solid judgment. Now this card's really, really good in combination with my own cards. Like if I have Peacekeeper equipped, and he goes like, he starts swarming the field. I go torrential. Now my Peacekeeper dies. His monsters die. My monster doesn't die, and I search a gear search. So you that's like, like that's crazy. so amazing. And this card's really good in like Insector Summon, just torrential, you know. And, um, yeah. It punishes bad players a lot. I know bad players like to overextend a lot. And this just punishes them for that. And I, I personally, I like overextending too because I like making, um, I like making them rely on what they have rather than, you know, dragging out a long game. So I understand those players that like to summon fast because they think that torrential's at one, but now it's at two. Yeah. And the last, the last card was Forbidden Lance, but I figure Solemn Judgment's a lot better right now. Solemn Judgment, if you Solemn and break their setup, like they break, they're starting to set up on you, and you break one card in their setup that you know is good. And of course, it costs half, but it's worth it. Because now they're you like their whole hand's anyway. dead or their field, like it just messed up everything. Yeah. And people, I, I hear people complain a lot when they lose to Solemn Judgment.